Welcome back to the Medbro channel and today we are going to do a follow up video to one I did previously on my home tour. So if you haven't seen that one, make sure you go and check it out. But I did mention in that one we were going to make one of our rooms a gym. So as with anything, shopping is going to definitely start on Amazon.com. So let's just start with the barbell because we know we're going to be doing squats, we're going to be doing deadlifts, we're going to be doing bench press. So we definitely need a good barbell. And I heard a lot about this cap company. I know you guys are looking out at making a gym. These guys are the only ones really on Amazon you can get plates and stuff from. Some of the reviews say that the grips here, like where you, where you grip the bar right here, it starts cutting your hand over time. Um, not a fan of that. Definitely not a fan of that. You know, uh, you know, delicate hands, you know, surgical, you know, want to preserve the surgical integrity even though I'm not going to surgery. Other than that, and then obviously I want it to be a seven foot one, a uh, seven foot full kind of Olympic bar, two inches, so it takes those um, like kind of standard plates. So that's not gonna do. So let's just go ahead. Sometimes they write these best overall contender. And then I'm not trying to break the bank with just a barbell. Like that's, that's a bit much, 329 just for the barbell. So this is the barbell I ended up going with. Luckily, I think I might have even gotten the last one. So I just put it in the car, I just bought it, and now coming back to show you guys, and it says currently unavailable. So I think we got the last one. So it's the, the Papa Babe. Papa Babe? The, the name had no, no involvement in me picking this bar. Maybe just a little bit. I want to say I got the Papa Babe bar. So some people might be cringing that I'm shopping for all this weight stuff on Amazon, but unfortunately, with my schedule, I'm not able to really go out. A lot of these places are closed. A lot of these places are shut down. A lot of these people places have everything sold out. So I've kind of exhausted Craigslist around my area. I'd rather not get like weights from somebody's garage that might be cracked or broken. I'm really looking to make the commitment to create a really nice long lasting home gym. So new stuff is kind of a requirement. I want it to be nice and fresh, so no cracked plates or anything. Number two, the convenience to just have it delivered to my door, have a returns available. So that's why Amazon is kind of up there as my go-to place to do some of this stuff. I know it's probably a, the hardcore lifters out there have some like serious reservations about where they get their plates and their bars and things like that, but I'm gonna keep it pretty basic, but at the same time, gonna try to get solid equipment to get a good home gym. So as this stuff starts adding up in my cart, you might be wondering, that eh, is getting up there in price well that has been the limiting factor in not having a home gym for the longest time for me I just didn't want to invest the money but when you really look at it how much I'm paying for a gym membership I'm paying uh, $40 a month that's after I fought for a good deal it was that like 60 70 dollars a month got it down to about $40 a month it comes out to be a pretty hefty price and really what you're paying for is the convenience because when you're doing 24 hour shifts when you're uh, you know have night call and when you're doing these really long terrible schedules you have the ICU coming up and things like that you just don't want to go to the gym like it's a huge limiting factor and it's a huge contributing factor along with the global pandemic having most gyms closed in the area so that's not even an option it really has been a limiting factor in my growth and my development I've atrophied a bunch of muscle gained a lot of weight that's gonna be a whole different video on my weight management um, my diet has gone to crap and that's something I could have controlled but it is, is a contributing factor nonetheless Looking at all that, I think the trade-off to make with a budget, I'm setting a budget to like a thousand dollars to just get a basic, basic home gym. So in terms of the squat rack, you can see pretty standard stuff. Again, people probably cringing. Dude is getting the squat rack on Amazon. It's gonna do what it's gonna do, hopefully, of just holding my plates up and my while I squat, just help me squat. Like that's really what I wanted to do. I'm not looking for it to be fancy, made of all metal, shiny gold rims with diamonds on top. Just wanted to get its job done and, and it come to my door in a convenient way. So I'm just gonna go for the most basic one. And this bestseller, sure, let's go ahead, let's just go ahead with it. And I think one of these comes with the bench combo. The number, oh yeah, number one bestseller, sure. We'll believe that and go ahead and just do it. Like I said, standard bench, standard weight, just put in the investment, go ahead and just get it. And of course, I don't wanna miss out on the mats. As you can see, I don't wanna mess up any of my floors. So I'm just gonna get your basic mat, this Amazon Basics one. Uh, and then hopefully that'll be enough. I'll see if I need any more beyond that. And really guys, that's gonna be it. I already have the dumbbells. I have one of those bowl flex uh, adjustable dumbbell things that I've had lying around. So like I said, it's a bare bones, at home, minimal gym. Let's go get our stuff here. Let's say it was just dropped off. Okay, I have all this. 
What the heck is this? You have to do the weird scramble until they kind of put all the stuff in. And then you're free to grab it. What is that? Uh, this is our home gym. I thought the workout room was over there. No, it's in here. What? You changing You room? didn't watch my home... You didn't watch my home tour video even though you're the one that shot it. Is this the entire set or is it just a bench? It said squat rack with bench, right? Apparently so. So I wonder if this is just the bench and the squat rack is not here yet. That's gonna be a devastating twist. Oh, we still have these to get out of the car. Let's go ahead and take a look at these plates. What happens when it's literally like bricks and you got scammed? I know, huh? I actually didn't check any of them, to be honest with you. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> You're sick. So unfortunately, this will be a work in progress for me because they did not give me the squat rack with it. I knew it wasn't going to fit in this thing, but I was hopeful that they would be. But it's just the bench. So once we get the squat rack, we will continue. So we can finally continue this video because the rest of the squat rack actually came. So we're going to put it together and we should be able to put this entire gym together today. So here it is. And then they sent me this bar too. I, you know, I was debating getting another bar and then this is literally how it came. I did not open this guys, it came like this. So that will be returned because there's a bunch of chipping and scratching on it, uh, particularly on this side because this is the side that was sticking out. And uh, gonna return that, but let's go ahead and get this opened up and let's get working. So it does look like I messed up. I had to put these things on before I put these screws on so I have to undo them and now it's all done. So this is what it looks like for the most part. Squat rack, done. Again, a little on the shorter side. I got a little bit less than a foot to work with to the top, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, downsides of being uh, relatively tall. Um, Benit's there on the phone. What's up, Benit? That's my support for uh, making my squat rack. And like a crackhead. <laughs> they can't see anything. <laughs> uh, the only other thing I have left to do is the bench and then we're gonna unwrap these because I just realized I actually never took a look at what's in those boxes. So this entire time we could have just been carrying rocks. So hopefully that didn't happen. This is the not so fun part because I have got a lot of cleaning to do, oh my God. So this is a couple days after I shot the last video where I put all this together and I've been doing a little bit of thinking and I think I messed up. So if you can see, I think I wanna move all this this whole gym set up to the original room that I thought I was gonna do it. It's just a little too cramped in here. It's a little too small, and um, I'm gonna have to unfortunately undo some of these screws and then move this over to the other room because I just have better vibes over there. I tried working out in here, it's just a little too small. So let's get doing that. Okay guys, we are done moving into this room and look how much bigger that looks already. Look how much better, more space there is. Hey guys, so checking back in with you guys. The last clip was over a month ago, if you can believe that. It's just because I was waiting for some of the stuff to still come in to finish the gym but they never came. The one missing piece is the actual weight plate holder. So where you put on all the plates, 
it was just saying it was going to come and then all of a sudden it just says wasn't could not be delivered and then i was refunded so hate when that happens but i ordered another one um and it just looks like an overall better one it's a little more expensive but i definitely need a weight plate holder or a weight plate holder because it's it's just really annoying to pick them up off the floor so this is the current setup so i moved a grand total of two times to different rooms and I've settled on this room. It's just so much more open and better than the room it was in. It was over there. I moved it right across to over here. Got a lot more of this padding and a link to the padding right here. This is really good padding. It's like nice and thick. And this is gonna be for the most part the final gym setup. So here we have the bench press slash squat rack. Uh, standard stuff uh, the plates really like these plates shout out to uh, Invictus I got these when I went to go visit beneath in Arizona just kind of found them because it was really hard to find these plates uh, just nobody was selling them they were really expensive but these guys came through with the plates and they're so there's two kind of plates there's the iron ones or the rubber uh, plates you can get and I went with the rubber just because number one they were available number two it, everyone says it's really good for longevity you don't get that nice clanking sound like you do with iron plates but they get the job done also since I've last checked in of course I've tried a lot of this stuff out and I can tell you a little bit about what works and what doesn't and what I'd like to see improved so this squat rack is actually pretty awesome for the price. It came with the bench. The bench itself is really, has a lot of room for you. It's a great bench. The only complaint I have about the squat rack is given my height, it does get a little bit uh, cramped. Like this is the top. It's kind of hard to give you perspective on camera, but when I'm doing the squats, I feel like, uh, of course my head's never gonna hit that, but you just feel like, you're in a constrained space rather than some of these really open squat racks I've been in. So that's the one complaint I have, but again, for the price, it's gonna be really hard to beat that squat rack to bench combo. It, this quality is amazing. It doesn't move around when I'm doing my squats or my bench press or anything like that. It hasn't had any problem with this stuff holding up the actual weights or uh, getting things to fit or even assembly you guys watched was not that bad. So highly recommend that squat rack. Links for everything here is gonna be in the description down below, guys. Head over there and if you follow those links, you'll help support us at the same time, get hooked up on a lot of good gym stuff. So I went with these clips instead of those clamps that you typically see in the gym. They're just easier to manage. Of course, got my indoor uh, training shoes because of course, we don't wear shoes indoors, we're brown. But when I train, I like to train in shoes like when I'm doing squats and stuff. So I got my Adidas. NMDs, I think these are NMDs. And then I got these a long time ago. Shaman actually bought these when they were on a sale a long time ago. Uh, haven't really been used that much. These goes up to 50, these go up to 52.5. Again, probably gonna need to upgrade the dumbbells sometime down the road. Unfortunately, it's really hard to find adjustable ones that go higher than like 52 or 55 uh, pounds. So eventually you're gonna have to invest in actual dumbbells, but then, then that gets to the point where you really have to start finding a gym membership because then the cost really starts going up if you're trying to really get every single size dumbbell and this really is just to get the job done while we're stuck in COVID for hopefully not too much longer. Of course, a lot of this stuff I'm just making do. Uh, back to, if you guys remember from the house tour, we moved the TV to this side with our beautiful TV stand because I got a different TV uh, moved down from my parents' house to that room. So we have a little TV here that you can kind of work out and uh, watch your stuff and then I got my Nice round sound again. This was kind of lying around as well. Thought I'd throw it in my gym. And then one more finishing touch we have to do, and that is setting up the lights, because I still haven't moved them from that room to this room, so let's just do that, and then we will clean up a little bit here, and that'll be it. So you guys might have been wondering if the lights were necessary at all, and in my case, they were, because after a long day in the ICU and I don't feel like working out when I come home, this is gonna be the inspiration. Engage now! <laughs> If you guys follow me on Instagram, there's this video I was gonna do on obesity. Uh, there's this video I wanna do on nutrition with all the horrible and crazy and convoluted nutrition stuff out there. So stay tuned for all the science-based breakdowns and it's gonna be a fun ride. So make sure you subscribe. And with that guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make my own gym. Stay tuned guys and we'll see you guys in the next one.